What's up everybody? Welcome back to In the Garden with Tez. That's me. And today we are going to be using the patio pickers or the city pickers if you get it from Home Depot garden to get out these things that I had already put into the aero garden because we need to. I know that being in zone 4B, 3A, whatever you want to call it, up here right under Canada in New York is a risk because it could snow all the way up until May. But I'm going to take that hit because I got a real crazy idea that just might work. But before we get started into that, I'm going to tell you exactly what you're going to need to make this thing happen. I know last time I did inside of a National Guard armory. This time I'm doing it on a military post. So I'm going to be outside in my own backyard. All right. So yeah, it's a hose made for the RV. City Pickers Garden Set Miracle Grow or whatever you choose to do. I also have the expert gardener fighting mix. I'm gonna try this one out because maybe if you want to, you don't have to, but you can use mulch. I prefer to use mulch though because it just works out for me this way and it's gonna keep that heat into the actual soil when the sun actually does come out again if it does snow. Like I said, I've got a crazy idea and a crazy theory that I'm going to test for science. All right, so after the jump, we'll come back and uh, yeah. This one and that one. I'm gonna use this one right here. Was a little bit more in the miracle grow at Walmart. I'm gonna use that one right here. And we're gonna do it. Now, like I said last time in my last video, nobody could probably understand me because the audio was bad, but uh, we are going to use this because we can't actually dig on military property. Well, maybe you can, I don't know, but I just know I'm not gonna do it because I don't know what's in this soil. A lot of dogs, a lot of poop. But, nail that I just found so I'm not even gonna try it so I'd rather just import my own I'd rather just pay for the bag stuff than to you know keep messing around with them like this okay so like we did last time we're gonna go ahead cut this off and then we're gonna go inside and all you're gonna do is you're just gonna fill this up like this so I'm going to go ahead and clean this out because mine has not been used in over two years. It's actually not uh, very heavy. It will be once we put this in there. Now I said last time it holds up to two cubic feet of soil in it, but uh, I only got one because I was being cheap. So we're going to see how far that's going to get us and then we're going to try to fill the rest up with mulch. did last time we want the consistency when you, the water hits this to be about uh, as thick as brownie mix so here we go also we're gonna turn it off the jet and we'll put our shower now you want it to be well draining but still you know it shouldn't be soaking wet when you squeeze it so good thing I didn't wet all of it but we're gonna go So you want to make sure you have your pole right here and put that down just like last time you're going to fill around it. I don't know if y'all can see this, but fill, make sure it's got a pretty tight fill around it. can liberally apply. All right, so we know from the directions how we're gonna plant or uh, how you plant, whatever direction you wanna cross section this up. So if 
you're gonna put most of your plants this way, then you would cut a dividend or a divot like right here in this middle or across me. I know that I'm putting corn and corn because those are my two biggest things right now. That's what I gotta worry about getting out of the arrow garden. So I'm gonna put one foot <laughs> right here, going straight up and down. You want me? I know it's not fully organic, but I do use Osmocote uh, just because it just helps. I've noticed it helps out better than when I don't. for having its own little nitrogen balls built into it so yeah you uh you don't want to do you don't want to use the osmo coat with that unless you're using very 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 tiny amounts all right so now what i'm gonna do is i'm going to put the water in first and then we'll go and we'll get our plants for this This is a two gallon reservoir in there. So how this works is it works by capillary action, which means that the roots of the plants are gonna wake up the material inside of here. Now I know that there's mosquitoes in my area, so I'm gonna go and get some mosquito dunks so I can put it at the bottom of this thing. I probably should have done that first, but I feel like also if I just soak some mosquito dunks in water and then pour it across the top, the mosquitoes won't lay their eggs in there too. Mosquito dunks are also harmless to humans. Okay guys, so I'm back now and I got my corn that was in the arrow garden. The link to that will be somewhere around here so y'all can see that. So yeah, nice long root systems for this one. <laughs> Alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to transplant them inside of there because apparently you need two corns. Who knew? I'm actually going to keep them set where they're at. Uh, uh, definitely water after this. Now, like I said, when we did our uh, thing, we actually cut it down the middle. Okay, so if your corn is actually bent or broken or something crazy like that, then what you would do is you would use your mulch to prop it up. Okay, now I'm going to bring you guys in show you actually what I was doing down there. Okay, so as you can see, I'm just go ahead, I'm doing my mulch, I'm finishing up the process. I don't want to try to do it too thickly. We saw what happened last time, or rather my commenters saw what happened last time. They still ask me what happened to those peppers to this day. I killed them because <laughs> I mulched too thickly. But also I think the mixture was just too wet and this mulch will hold in heat. Now you're probably wondering why um, now. That's because it's abnormally warm right now and I want to take advantage of it. Like I said, I've got a plan. Taking a really heavy duty, thick plastic bag to put around it. Right? What if we were able to harness the power of a greenhouse by putting a plastic bag over this? I've never seen it done, but I'm gonna try it. Now there's a lot of dead space in here, so I'll be able to come back to this and put some more stuff in if I wanted to, like more corn. Like I said, the plan is to get these, all of these things full of corn. So that's what we're gonna do, Bajo. We're gonna do a nice light spray. That's that. I gotta go out with my wife, but that is setting it up. All right, so I'll catch y'all later. See ya.